Hello everyone, it's Dragon Platinum here, and today we are back again with another episode of Playing Crazy. Now, today we are going to try to make a biplane. Now, I did make one a long time ago, and I was looking through my saves, and apparently I deleted it a while back. I don't remember when I deleted it, but I did, to make some room for, I guess, another build. But, um, I thought today I'd try to build another one, because the last one that I built wasn't very good, and I've learned a lot in that time that I've just been continuously making stuff, so I think that I can make a much better one, and uh, that's what I'm going to try to do today. So, to start things off, I'm actually not sure how big I want to make this, but I'm thinking maybe something like three blocks wide. Yeah, I want to make it, like, pretty small, but, like, not too small. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. Alright, I'm really not terribly sure how long I want to make this, but this is looking about alright right now. Um, I gotta get the general- once I got like the general shape down, I think I shouldn't have any more problems. But just getting there is gonna be a little bit of an adventure. Uh, let me see- uh, I could do some like stuff with half blocks maybe. And use that to kinda show where the people are gonna be sitting, like something like that. And then it would go here, and then over there. Yeah, I don't know, like something, something like that maybe would be kind of what I'm looking for. And then if we lift this up, and I'm just gonna add... I really don't want to make this too long. But I, I, I'll have to do like some like measurements and some guesswork to get it at the right kind of length that I'm looking for here. But right now, it's looking okay. Because uh, usually biplanes are pretty like boxy or rectangular, so that's kind of the look I'm going for. So style-wise, this shouldn't be too hard. Um, I think the hardest part is going to be actually putting on the wings, which I'm going to try to do some fancy stuff by trying to see if I can motor lock in some of like the supports that hold the wings together and up. I, I don't know if I can do that, but I'm going to try to, and maybe if I can get um, some motor locks that will spin and turn them so I can have like the X shape, like in between the wings, I think that could look kind of cool, but uh, we'll see if we get there, but right now I'm still working on just getting this thing to look right. Okay, I'm just putting that one propeller there just so I kind of know how I'm setting things up, but this is kind of the idea that I'm going with. Um, I might need to add... Just a couple spots for the passenger, I can add that in there. Um, but now I need to add the wings, which I think go near the driver? I don't know, I think I might have to look up a biplane really quick, because I'm not totally sure. Okay, so they're usually just barely in front, or like directly beside him. So I might pull the seat back just a little bit more, and put the... I'll put it back here, he can sit there. Remove this, move this out of the way, pull this back, put the little walls up, and then I could put them like right there, I think, and then it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let me just throw the wing panels on so I can get an idea of what I'm looking at. So like something like this, maybe? I think that would be fine. Probably? <laughs> uh, yeah, that should be okay. Honestly, I think that should be in the right spot. Okay, so I'm kind of getting the wings done here. Uh, what I'm aiming to add in is I kind of wanted to add trails in and kind of use them as like the little support things that come up and connect the wings together, but I'm not totally sure how I'm going to do that just yet. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of motor locking, but I think I can pull it off. It will just take me a minute to figure out how to do it but I think I can do it. Okay, so something like this is what I was kind of aiming for for the wings, to have them kind of like stuck like that. I I'm not sure if that's exactly what I want. I might turn them a little bit, but this is what I was aiming for. Uh, just doesn't seem exactly perfect just yet. I might need to mess around a little bit more with that, but we're getting there, and that's the important thing. Okay, I think I kind of got it the way that I wanted it. Let's just do a quick check, and yes, okay, that does look right. So, I've got the connectors in. Now, I want to have, like, something, like, the X that kind of goes through them. So, I gotta figure out how I can do that. It shouldn't be super hard. 
I think. I hope. <laughs> I hope it's not super hard. Okay, upon further thought, I have no idea how to add the little X in between. So we're just not going to do it and going to go to see if I can figure out something else. Yeah, I spent like a good 10, 20 minutes just trying to figure that out. And every way that I did it, it just didn't work properly. So that's probably something for like a future problem I got to solve. But right now we got to do that to the other side. Um, and then I got to kind of work out the body shape a little bit more. But we're getting there and it is kind of looking the way that I wanted it to. So that's a good thing. I just need to work on adding the connectors to the main body, to the wings, and maybe I'll add, uh, nah, I won't do it for the bottom wings. I think, I think just the top ones will be fine. Okay, let's try this. So we're gonna turn this that way, blow that up. Okay, so that kind of works. So like the only problem that I'm really seeing right now is that obviously it sticks through and obviously those stick through as well, but Really, that's not a big issue. Um, I'm not too, too concerned about that. There is a way that I could fix it. I could put like a half block on the on the front and then add more wings or something. I, I don't really know. That, that, that'd be a, a lot of stuff to do. Because if I added like... If I had like a half cylinder up front here... And then put more wings behind it or something. Maybe that would work, but I don't know. That'd be kind of difficult. Might be worth it, though. But it would be pretty difficult. I don't know why this one's kind of glitching out all over the place. I just tried to do what I did on the one side and the other side. And this seems to be breaking for some reason. So I don't know what that's about. Hopefully I can figure out a way to fix it. I'm not sure why that is doing what it is doing. Because it's, it's, it should be exactly the same. Maybe I just need to add those in. I don't really know how that's going to affect it, but you know what? We'll try. Okay. Open them up like this. Do that. There we go. Okay. It, it's a little bit glitchy, but it does work. And I added one too many trails on that side, but we're getting there. Slowly we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. Okay, I'm trying out something. I'm going to try to make my actual wings thicker. I don't know how this is going to work, but it's going to be kind of interesting. Um, I'm going to be using a lot of disconnectors and just seeing if this looks right. It probably won't now that I'm actually seeing it being built, but we'll try. So I'm kind of thinking like something like this maybe where it, it's kind of oh god I, <laughs> what happened I jumped out of my seat and I went to the bottom um, I'm thinking something like this if I can pull it off where it's like it's got the disconnectors on the sides on the top and I'm gonna put them on the bottom as well and then I'm gonna try to see if I can like make it sort of blend all together because then it will also hide all of the uh, trails from sticking out a little bit so it's not gonna be the perfect fix but it might just work enough for me to call it a fix. Maybe, I'm not totally sure. Okay, so I've been doing some work here. Um, it's it's kind of a big mess and it's, it hasn't turned out exactly the way that I wanted it to, but I am still kind of happy with the result that I've gotten so far. So I do plan to keep working on this. Um, we're slowly getting there, slowly getting to a final result. I'm just trying to see if maybe I can improve on this anymore. But the way that I'm seeing it right now is that the bottom is actually going to be able to control all of our, like, like movement. Whereas the top is mostly just for show, like the top wing is just for show. But uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm kind of coming to that home stretch now. So, I'm hoping everything stays semi alright. Okay, so it's been a while since I last checked in. And I have done quite a bit of work. It took me a ton of time to get this done. But... Uh, I'm slowly getting there, it feels like. Um, I've been messing around with like balancing out the weight and stuff. I've had to use some ballast beams underneath. Uh, everything up top kind of works correctly. Um, the flying is a little bit weird right now. I'm still trying to work on that. I think I have to mess around with the uh, these tail wings. Got to get something fixed out with them. But I'm getting there slowly. It's just taking a while. I think all I really need to do is if I can just remove this, 
move this around and put control surfaces like this? Do I want to put control surfaces in here? I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm trying to figure out a way to make this work. I have no idea. Okay, so I do have it up and flying properly. Um, it's really, really, really hard to control right now. And it's just because I don't think I have enough power in the front. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to overcome that because I've motor locked a lot of stuff. And any like slight adjustments really messes things up. So there's not a whole lot I can do at the moment. But it does fly quite well. And um, other than like the turning, the turning is probably the worst part. But uh, when it's not turning, it, it does fly pretty well. You know what, honestly, I'm not too worried about it. It's just, it, I'm just trying, I'm trying out some new things here. I've never really worked with, like, as small of a space as I am to try to make a totally motor-locked plane with all this stuff going on. It, it's something new, and uh, it's not going to be a perfect first attempt, but I think I'm doing pretty good right now. Okay, so I, I added another engine into it. Um, it does seem to fly fine-ish when I'm, like, going in the air but as soon as I go to do like any sort of turn it kind of has some rough times and I mean it is a biplane so biplanes weren't you know like they, they were old technology so yeah, I'm gonna give myself like a little bit of a pass here and say that um, maybe it wouldn't fly as good as a normal jet plane that I could make but uh, right now I think it flies okay and I am happy with what I've done it has been a difficult build, and uh, it is starting to get pretty late, and I've worked on this build for quite a while, so I think I'm going to add a paint job to it, I'm going to call it a day, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty proud with what I've done so far. Okay, there we go, I added just a simple paint job onto it, I wasn't going to go for anything too flashy or too big, but we do have the overall design intact, um, I did manage to, oh my god, hopping out of this thing, I never tried that before. I did not know I would slip out to the bottom, <laughs> um, but I did add, I tried to add the um, connector pieces, unfortunately I couldn't add the X on the side, but I was able to add like little connector bits here, now they don't always work for some reason, sometimes they glitch out and freak out as we can see with this one, it kind of popped out of position, so I don't know exactly how to fix that, I don't know if that's just something that just happens and you know you gotta hope it doesn't happen, but it is what it is, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, obviously we do have some visible motor locks here, so not too happy about that. But th there is a lot of things on this build that I would love to change. Unfortunately I don't have the time and um, honestly don't have the patience. I, I tried a lot with this one, I tried to incorporate as much detail into it as I could. And I think I did an okay job, again always room for improvement, but um, I'm happy with what I did. Alright, well there we go guys, there is my biplane. Uh, again, still things like some things I need to improve on, but overall I am happy with how this turned out, and uh, I think it, it looks pretty cool with the top wing being the way that it is, but maybe there'll be a rebuild in the future, because I think it will need it. But anyways guys, that's really all I've got for this video, so hey, if you guys like this video, feel free to give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and as always guys, it's Dragon Platinum, signing out. Peace out guys. Bye!